All right, don't shot kill. Don't shot kill. All right, come on. Come on, come on. We've been waiting for this Barcero all day. Wait for it. Oh, ooh, coño. Oh, oh, the tipo en el agua, in the water. And there it is, guys. MUI at the boat ramp. La cagaste. La cagó. Y la música. Y ahí está el cocodrilo metido por ahí. Guys, the crocodiles in the area. Alfred Montaner, welcome to the boat ramp, my friends. And now, now this guy's going to get a little bit of COVID. Let's go, Rona. Come on, Rona. We're all having fun here. Wow, what a chit what a chit show, my friends. Welcome to the boat ramp. My name is Alfred Montaner, and I just got off of a Tobo US boat, and uh, I'm excited, guys. I just literally a little while ago got off of it. So if you have not seen that video, I would encourage you to see it because this video is after that. So I'm here at the boat ramp after hours, waiting for the Barcerismo. And it's here. Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Wow, talk about putting a move on this homie. Bro, look at this guy. Wow, that is straight high Elia stuff. Uh, guys, let me tell you something. That border is open, and you guys better learn Spanish. Alfred Montaner says the chit show begins right now. Boom! Wait for it. Oh boy. Oh, and we got some Tupac in the background. Oh man, this is gonna get good. It's, uh, um, we gotta hit him up in the background. Oh boy. That's a very good song. Oh boy, hold on a second, guys. We're getting shot killed. Oh, I saw it coming, but I was trying to avoid the, the shot killing. There goes the fillet. There's a fillet table. Oh no, we're getting shot killed and we got Tupac in the background. Why Tupac? Oh my goodness, bro. Did you guys hear that? Oh man. Oh my goodness, Alfred Montana making a scene, guys. Wait for it, hold on. I gotta go ahead and take a quick uh, break. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Is that Path to Barbie? In front of that truck? Wait a second, I thought I saw something moving. <gasps> it is, it's her. Look at that little wobble. It's freaking bad to Barbie, my favorite damn Muscovy duck of all. Where is she? She's crossing, guys. She's crossing bathtub Barbie. I haven't seen her in a minute, guys. That's why I'm so excited. Let me tell you something. The bathtub, the pink bathtub Barbie hats have were such a hit. Her and all her kids. Look at her. Look at bathtub Barbie, guys. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to see her. That's the most famous duck in black. Oh, where's she coming? Where's she coming? Where's she going? 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 Wow. Does she got kids over there? She went to Chicho Life. She wants the view. Look at her. She just goes over there like it's all good. She thinks she owns this place. Wow. That is Bat to Barbie, guys. Hey, Bat to Barbie hats uh, April 1st, 2024. I'll have a whole new batch of Bat to Barbie hats if you have not gotten any at this point. She is back. I wonder if she's got a whole new set of uh, ducks. Honestly, guys, she's like on 50 already, 60, maybe 70. I got to do a video with Bad Luck Chuck. That's one of uh, that's one of Joe's friends who catches Muscovy ducks. He he knows that he can't go after Barbie. Barbie's Barbie's like Barbie's like the most boy. Oh boy. The poodle's going in. She's like the most loved duck in all of the world. Like even even duck hunters from the OBX won't go after that, that duck. All right, she pushed them off, so I don't know who's at fault here. Um, was it a bad duck? I don't know. What the hell's going on here? All right. Where is she walking to? I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm filming this, but I'm looking for Barbie. I'm trying to see where Bath to Barbie went.
guy just literally got in front of him, bro. How is this even possible? How is this even possible? Guys, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Prepare for craziness. Because the world is going, the girl world's going insane, my friends. And we're seeing a little bit over here at the Black Pump Marina. I hope you guys come visit Miami and South Florida. You will enjoy Florida. I guarantee you guys. And uh, you will you will like this boat ramp. It's, it's a lot of fun. And obviously, I filmed the shit show. My name is Alfred Montaner. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't understand how this guy on this boat has not said nothing about that straight up Devo. That's like Devo. Get off my lawn, Devo, mother... Um, dude, if they pull that thing out, what do you explain to the owner of the boat? We're like, yeah, um, I was here on the boat just waiting for you and, oh boy, hold on a second, what's this? Okay, little GNU. Oh, we got some, so is, is that is that Johnny Cash? I like Johnny Cash. Who doesn't like Johnny Cash? If you don't like Johnny Cash, you're a monster. A oh, monster. Let's see what's going on here. Hold on, they, they gotta fix this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, little chittery there, guys. Doesn't doesn't matter. They're good. Oh boy, yes. All right, well, this guy, um, this guy has literally suffered a defeat to uh, this packed boat, guys. It was it was it was it was packed. I mean, I listen. I pretty much say, hey, you guys have had a better day than me, so could just just go ahead. Uh oh, I think I just heard Samantha the snake. I think yours truly might have to get out of here. This is wild. Oh wait, hold on a second. I'm not getting out of here, nothing. I still have the whole show to film. This guy's playing Johnny Cash. So let's see, is it him that's playing it? I think so, yeah. You guys hear it? I hear the train coming, coming down the back. Oh boy, there it is. Um, all right, let's see, let's see if there's uh, let's see if there's some politeness over here. Let's see if people are polite. All right, everybody's leaving the boat. The guy on the boat is trying to pretend he disappeared. I don't think that's his boat. Uh, that can't be his boat. He was probably with somebody on the boat. Um, immigration's to the left, guys. Don't worry about it. They, they'll check in <laughs> and have, have a thousand dollar card tomorrow. Give, give them a minute and their new phones. Wait, part nah, nah. There, listen, these, 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 these are our Cubans that have been here since, I don't know, Clinton. I don't know. I mean, listen, there's a lot of Cubans out here, guys. So, I right, listen. I, I take it. I, I say it the way it is. Okay, are they gonna push off? Hold on, hold on. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Actually, you know what? A lot of Cubans. A lot of Cubans started changing their affiliation because of what happened the last that white wet foot dry foot a lot of Cubans a lot of Cubans didn't like that and if you don't know what that means basically if if you were from Cuba oh look at this guy this guy this guy's the one who left wow what a gentleman so if you don't know what that was wet foot dry foot basically if you touch land and you were a Cuban, Cuban, Cuban immigrant they let you stay but now, since they all vote Republican, they get shit back. <laughs> wow! Or they just go down the border and they say they're Venezuelan. Over there, uh, Texas, and where else are they having a problem? They just say, yeah, yeah, no, we're nowhere. Don't you guys think we're all alike? We're all the same. No, we're not, we're not. We're not all Mexican, guys. I know, I know it's hard to believe. I know it's hard to hear that. We're not all Mexicans. Like, I barely see Mexicans here at the boat ramp. There is many nationalities in South Florida and I'm not saying there isn't Mexicans but they're not here yet so what we have primarily is more Cubans Puerto Ricans Colombians you know Venezuelans it's a whole mixture if you've been here in South Florida you, you know the whole process and basically it's it started with Chavez from Venezuela 
they all left when he was over there. They came over here, they inflated this huge housing bubble because they had all these petrodollars. And they came over here, they bought a bunch of stuff, it, it, it skyrocketed real estate prices. And, um, and now who knows what's gonna happen. All right, well, listen up. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. Um, but out for Mountaineer, I just want to do this quick video. It's in after hours, but you know what? I thought it was hilarious the way it, it materialized. Hey, be safe out there. And uh, guys, enjoy America. Out for Mountaineer, making a scene as always. Hey, vote, vote. You don't like stuff, vote. I'll just say, if you like something or you dislike something, that's the beauty, beautiful thing about America. Your vote sometimes counts. I'm out of here. Boom! Oh no! Oh no, Captain Lance! No, not this again! You have been rescued by the best, most known Tobo captain in the world! Hey, I'm glad to see you guys are back. Gas prices are too high, I know, I've been saying it for a long time. Well, like I said, you're in great hands. Guys, welcome. To Black Point Marina, my friends. Yours truly, Alfred Montaner. Just got here to the boat ramp, and guess who we got? The good old Captain Lance, the most famous towboat captain in the world. And I had recently just done a video showing how Captain Lance does his job with uh, Towboat US. And I, actually, it was crazy. A crazy video. I mean, four people rescued. It was, I mean, what they do on a day to day, guys, is incredible. So, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. If you haven't seen that video, I would encourage you to uh, watch that video. I'm not even gonna waste SD card on uh, Captain Lance because it's it's just a waste. All right, the chit show begins now. Alfred Monton making a scene at the boat room. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I can get a peacekeeper on. Uh, nah, it's 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 hard to get a peacekeeper on Lance, guys. It is such. It was such a cool video, dude. All right, let's go. You gave him a better, uh, I think he's going to go to, where is he going to go to? Uh, eight, maybe? Yeah, I think he's going to eight, guys. We'll have Captain Lance stop by and, you know, say hello. And I don't know, listen, guys, I, I, like I said, it was, it was a very, very interesting video. If you have not seen that video, I would encourage you to watch the whole video. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was eye-opening for a lot of people for me as well Now Lance was telling, saying that the summer gets wild over here. Obviously, on his end, he says that. I mean, we got in a situation where a boat sunk, right? But he says that's like a common thing in, in the summer. He he says he see we see a lot of those quote unquote. <laughs> so I wonder. I gotta ask him now if that if they were able to remove that um, derelict, derelict vessel. So so Biscayne National Park. Uh, we'll give you the option to try to remove the boat yourself or you can hire a tow company like them to salvage it and bring it back and do all that good stuff and and from what we know the person was attempting but it, it just got a little rough it got a little hard um, for them to to get it going well what the hell is somebody throwing rocks at me or what what was that hold on a second guys where's my baby oh <laughs> there it is Bring you all these girls to meet you, man. 
Don't you know I'm a... Hold on. I, I'm thinking they're throwing. I'm thinking they're throwing rocks at me from the distance. From from that side, I'm like. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I said, and this is it. Never ever come here. Uh, nice to meet you, Alfred. Nice to meet you. And you know Maria already. Yes, Hi. yes. What's going on? Wait, did your son keep his fingers? Oh, uh, don't even talk to me about that. <laughs> what did he blow up, man? The cops were called. Everybody was like, "How did this? You gave me fireworks. He gave me fireworks for for New Year's." It's crazy, guys. Watch this man right here. Let this. I'm gonna talk to the Captain Lance. Did you see the video I did with Lance? Yeah. Watch this. Hold on. I want to talk to him. Hold on. Yeah, he uh, he gave me some some fireworks. Oh my goodness! Hold on a second. I can't wait for this. The good old Captain Lance, the most famous tumble captain in the world. All right, so first of all, we got 25,000 views in one day. In one day on that video. I would say that was a huge success. They did. Let me ask you, do you know anything about that boat? Is it still floating there in Biscayne Bay? No, I haven't heard. He, uh, I'm going to go check to see if it's there right now. Oh. Actually, my co-workers getting ready to go out there and they look for it. Okay. But it they're not putting anything over the radio, which oh. Okay. Well, we are the radio nowadays. We'll we'll we'll, we'll put it on uh, Chicho special uh, radio VHF. So the guy, I mean, he called me later. Okay. He's like, yeah, he's like, I've called everybody. You guys had the best price, but he's like, uh, he told me. Yeah. He to listen. You know how it is. Hey, listen. At that point, like, you don't have a boat anymore. You know, your hopes and dreams have been dashed. <laughs> Well, listen, keep me updated because because maybe there's a salvage that, that gets that has to happen. And maybe I can jump on the boat and show the salvage because Biscayne Bay will Biscayne National Park will hire you guys to probably to, to do it. That's right. If he doesn't pay, eventually they're going to, you know, hire Well, I do hope he does pay and we'll find out. If it happens, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll uh, let you know. <laughs> all right. Hey, all right. it's always good to see you. Where, where'd you pick these guys up from? Uh, uh, the feather bed. Okay, the feather beds. Uh, all right. Well. We got some victims today. Let me know. That's right. All right, guys. It was awesome. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of messages from people telling you that they love the video. You'll see. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's awesome. Yeah. They've been wanting this video forever. All right. Well, we're going to... How, how's the, how is it busy out there or no? Not really? Hey, all it takes is one to have a good chicho over here at Black Point. <laughs> All right, Captain, All right. Captain Lance over here with Tobo US, guys. All right, um, so just so you guys know, um, 11.52 in the morning, March 2nd, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, I, I definitely wanted to talk to these people, but I also wanted to talk to Lance. So, so I had to prioritize Lance real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So, so are, are these visitors local or where are they from? They're my neighbors. They're our neighbors. Oh, your neighbors too? I'm yeah. exotic. I'm from Hialeah. <laughs> east or west? West side. Well, you're a little bit more brand new than east. East is a little rough, guys. A little rough in the east, Hialeah. Get over here. We're... I know I grew up in Hialeah, so, and I made it out. You make it out of Hialeah, you made it. You make it anywhere. Oh, you make it anywhere. You know the girl that won Survivor like three times? She was... Born and raised in Hialeah. That's why it's the water. Yeah. And they said, they said, they asked her, how do you win so much? She was like, I was raised in Hialeah. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. They don't know about the Hialeah thing. Well. Well, the band from last night was from Hialeah at the sandbar. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they were good. What were they singing? Uh, Spanish, English? No, country. Country. It was. Uh, I like that. What's the name? Hialeah Hillbillies. Yeah, that's what it is. Hialeah. There's a lot of them. Look at the people at Concept. Every time I go to the boat shows. They're all wearing uh, cowboy hats and they're popping country, country music at the end of the show and they get lit with, with Morgan Wall and everybody. It was good. It was good, actually. What's their name? You, you remember their names? The band was Ricky. Hialeah. No, Hialeah Hillbillies. Hialeah Hillbillies, guys. We're going to have to check them out. Hey, why don't you come over here and do a presentation here on a barge or something? And I'll film them on the chit show. Hey, well, listen, I'm going to get to work. Oh, this, this, listen. 
I have yet to fall. Well, even if I did, I'm not gonna go ahead and, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put a, I'm the superstar, look, I'm the filmer, I'm the editor, I'm everything. Yes. Listen, you only see a hero here when I'm filming. That's so funny. Fred, Fred, okay, so, so I got the skinny. So Fred, okay guys, so, so listen up. Okay, Fred was here the day that I was with Captain Lance. He was here, he was feeding. But recently, he was on the canal where the shrimp boats were, back there on the further side with, uh, with a new baby mama. Don't say, uh, don't say I didn't say it. Uh, hey, she looked kind of thick too. That baby mama thick. She's thick. <laughs> Fellas, she's highly thick. She, she's chonga lit, uh, lit. Yes, she was big, guys. So Fred the Croc, is uh is making babies and um i saw that post on on a page called cutler Bay social down here so if you guys want to see some cutler bay stuff they they gotta follow cutler Bay social uh oh we got somebody back here behind you what's going on man how you doing uh oh this might be my demise. What's what's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Are you are you guys gonna do something to this man? Are you gonna shoot this man or something? No, no. Let me know. I mean, I'm I'm I'll move out of the way so you guys can do your things. No hell, we're from Michigan. We watch your show. You watch my show and you're from Michigan? Okay, so I was wondering because you guys came in stealth. Alfred Montem, nice to meet you. Hi, yep. Nancy. Nice. Yeah. To, yeah. So, yeah, we watch your show. So so yes, I actually just got here right now. I was talking to Captain Lance. I love the hat. Thank you. <laughs> um, so Michigan, I'll tell you right now, Michigan. I have the most fans in Michigan out of anywhere in the United States. I, I well, that's the whole thing. I bring a little bit of sunshine to their life. Right. Yep. You know. Exactly right. So, so he was just asking me about Fred, and I told him Fred the Croc is on the other side, right. and he's got a new girlfriend. No. Yes, yes, and it's interesting because in the same area, about a month back where we saw him, there was a dead crocodile, which looked oh, like yeah, a male. Heard about that. Yes, a male dead crocodile. So Fred, Fred uh, is taking out the competition, you know? But listen, uh, I'll tell you, he's pretty elusive. You know, so I think sure. we, he'll be all right. He'll be back to, to Black Point. We might see him today because he, he's, definitely, he's definitely making his rounds. Now that it's getting a little warmer. He comes there to eat anyways, right? Yes. Is this your first time here in Black Point? Yes. Is it everything that you expect when you see my channel? Um, what's, what's it the, is, actually. What's, what's, the, what's the interpretation? Like, like you see the fillet table. Right. right. That's obviously where he goes and gets his carcasses. And we got Wilma the Manatee. Have you been to that side yet or no? No, no. Okay, so that side, you have the fillet table. You'll probably see the manatees in that area. And and there might be a possibility you might see Fred. Uh, and what's the duck's name? Bata Barbie. Oh, that's right. Bata, Bata Barbie. Barbie. But li li listen, Bata Barbie is like on our 10th litter. Oh, no. Yes. Um, so much so that people in the park... <laughs> People in the park are like, yo, she's having way too many kids. She's right, gaming yes. the system. I mean, Wix is, uh, Wix uh, <laughs> are running out. Yep. All the Wix uh, milks and all that stuff are gone. You have any good action here this morning? Well, I just literally got here. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm getting set up, I'm getting situated, and I'm going to begin the chicho now. You know, the chicho evolves, right? It, it's throughout the day, and I cut it. Like right now, because you guys are here, and then... This, these other group of people just came by. I always just kind of get the, the, the party started, but. Now I see why his feet get wet. Yes, you, well, see, yeah. you see why? Depends yeah. on the water. Uh, okay, so, so like right now, the water comes all the way up to here. Right, you can tell. Okay, and now, now it, it's, I, it's, I barely can get the flag anymore, so I have to get into the water to get the American flag now, which that's why I complain when people go fast. Not just because of the manatees, because, you know, my... My wife, my wife says, you're going to mess up your shoes again and again and again and again. Well, yeah, we, we wear tall boots, you know, in springtime and winter. You got to 
Yeah. So, we do all this stuff. But yes, but you know, some, I've tried it all. I've tried it all. That's regrettably, true. regrettably, the best thing to have while I'm here is a good pair of old shoes. I, I wore Crocs one day. I slid out my Crocs. I cut my, 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 the, my foot with a rock. It, it was terrible. So I, I learned my lesson. What about water shoes? I, it, it's it's it, yeah it's not it's not gonna grip as good as as just a regular pair of sneakers well a combination between Miami Dade and Biscayne National Park so if you keep on work, walking further back this is a get off my lawn moment yeah for sure listen I want it to be exact I, I, I want it to be exactly the same way it is because they build a little deck here. I have 20 people fishing here right, before right, I get here, exactly. you know? And yeah, let, 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 let this be the most uncomfortable thing. And you might see the snake in a little while. Oh, the, the, oh neither do I, but I'm here. We so see him, uh... look, there's, there's already like birds. You see how there's birds, you'll see iguanas in the trees. There's a little bit of everything here, guys. In the summertime, uh, we're on the river all the time where we live. Okay. Uh, all the rivers run into Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. Streams everywhere, and we run up the rivers and mm -hmm. sandbar, but can't get any big boats or anything up. Yeah, it's small, yeah, or jet boat, river boat. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, we're out all the time in the water. We're boaters. But yeah. So you guys in Michigan are, are you are you guys frozen over right now? Are we what? Are you guys frozen yeah. over? Your lakes frozen? Like where you guys no. launch? No, this has been a strange year. Really? Ice, a little bit of ice came on off. Crazy weather in Michigan. There's definitely uh, people say there's no global warming. That's not true. There is. Okay. Well, so so I went to I went to uh, where did I go to? I went to Toronto, and oh, yeah. I filmed over there. And those areas were frozen. Like, like all the boat ramps were frozen. You know. Well, it was like that for a while. Already, but so. They're open now. So does it get really really rough in your in those big lakes like Lake Erie? Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Really terrible nasty. Rough. Yeah. You see, I gotta do that. You know, I, I've told that on the channel. I went to Cedar Point one year with my family. The only thing is, we have really nice. Cedar Point is really cool. Michigan, yeah. Sand, just yeah. Nice as they get. Yeah. So I went to there, and I went to a Mackinac Island. Yep. Oh yeah. Fudge for days. I think I yep. gained like 20 pounds yep. in that weekend. So yes, um, I got I got a lot of fans over there. My brother was li living years ago in Dearborn. So yeah, that's 200 yeah, miles south of us. Yes, we live north farther. Than so there. so yeah, it, I mean I'll tell you like I, I'm still surprised how many people follow my channel. I got my I got my eye on this guy, guys. Don't think I'm not working. Um, yeah, so so it's it's really cool. Now I understand. You know, the more I, the more I I go to different places and I stay there at the times of years that you guys are watching, yeah. I understand. Like like I was in New Hampshire. It got dark at four o'clock and everything was frozen. So I was like, okay, this is why these people watch my channel. You know, over here, it's gonna get dark late. So what's the plan when coming to Miami? You guys been here before in Miami? We're staying in Key Largo. We're staying in Key Largo. Okay, so I just came from Key West with Mrs. Montaner. Uh -uh. So we went over there and we hung out. We, we stopped in, in Key Largo a little bit. And then, um, then we went to Isla Mirada for a little bit and then yeah. we stayed the night in Key West. And it was really, really nice. We're going to drive down there next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, your, do your mandatory stops. I have a video on my channel uh, how, how, how and what to do like along the way. Cool stops if you haven't done them on my channel. Okay, okay. There's, a, there's a Visit Miami playlist that I have that I include that there. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's really, let me tell you, it's, it's one of the things that I always recommend people to do is to come Where over you here. If you'd be here, we thought we're going to go check it out. Is, is that a... Is your son or something filmed here sometimes? No. Um, well, Aiden helps me every now and then, right? And but I, but I want him to focus on school. And you're not narrating. So narrating. yeah. So I'll do. So Daniel will, will come in and film when, like for instance, when I was at the boat show, he was filming here. So so you know he he will and i'll do like those no commentary videos that right. everybody dislikes right yeah we don't like, like them that much uh, and, li listen listen this it's, it's, it's funny because everybody's like well you know i can't stand the no commentary and then every other message is like put this put this channel on mute and you'll love it those are my super haters but yeah. the, they watch from the beginning to the end so i'm i'm always loving them 
All right, guys. Well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and take a pause here because there's some music in the background and that's not good. Ever Mountain Amiga scene, as always, with Michigan. Give me your names. Hold on a second. What are your names? Nancy, Nancy, and, Don. Nancy and Don are here visiting. Well, I'll tell you what, if you guys go on the other side, right here to the fillet table and you visit, I'll get a shot of you guys so they see who you guys are. Okay. All right. How do you get over there? Okay, so you're going to get in the car and just walk, to, uh, go to the other side. There's a parking over there in that corner. And then you just walk over there. Okay. And then you have the restaurant here to the right if you yeah, want to. Okay. We always see people setting up. In yes, you can, to, you can go to you can go Chicho Live. Yes, yeah. Chicho Live. You can go over there. I love it, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a picture before you guys get out of here, though. All right, guys. Be right back. Hold on. Boom. Well, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching the Chicho over here at Blackburn Marina. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out Luxury Rib Tenders. Da, uh, da, I was gonna say dog.com. No, it's luxuryribtenders.com or alfamontaner.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out here. Boom! Today's video was brought to you by Hook Optics. To get more information on Hook Sunglasses, go to hooksunglasses.com. Whiskey throttle hats and chit show gear are also available at luxuryribtenders.com. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out.